In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of retardation. We're going to plot a graph that is going to represent retardation. The other word for retardation is negative acceleration or call it, call it deceleration. Let's take a case in point. For example, a body starts moving. Its initial velocity at moving is 10 meters per second. Then it moves for two seconds. And after two seconds, its, its, its final velocity is two meters per second. It started from 10 meters per second to 2 meters per second. It would mean that its graph would look like this. So it means that 10 is its initial. It started from here. Then it moved from 10. After 2 seconds of movement, its final velocity is 2. So its final velocity is right there, 2 meters per second. So that's the graph. It moved from 10 to 2. So if you are to look at that graph, this graph will give us a negative slope. By definition, we know that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. When the rate of change of velocity is increasing, it means that the velocity time graph is going to give you a positive gradient. But if the rate of change of velocity is reducing, it means that you're going to have a retardation or you're going to have deceleration. And this, since this is going to give us a negative slope, it means that it is negative acceleration. To get this acceleration, we know that by definition that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. The rate of change of velocity means that you're going to look at the initial velocity here, which is 10, minus the final velocity, which is 2, divide that by the time. The initial time you stopped, you, the initial time was uh, 0, minus the final time was 2. And 10 minus 2 is definitely 8. You divide that by negative 2 and you end up with 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 meters per second squared is the acceleration. Now, of course, here we are having 8. The acceleration, this is the rate of change of velocity. Initial velocity minus final velocity gives us 8 in terms of meters per second. So it's meters per second. Divide that by 2. 2 is in time is in seconds. Divide that by 2 seconds. So meters per second, divide that by second gives us meters per second squared and this is the unit for acceleration. Now this negative value, the negative acceleration is signifying retardation. It is signifying that the rate of change of velocity with time is reducing. We have a stone. It slides across a horizontal sheet of ice in a straight line. It we are going to first summarize this question with a diagram. We first summarize it diagrammatically then we solve it. So the question says we have a stone. It slides across the horizontal sheet of ice. So let's look at this as a horizontal sheet of ice. And it passes point A. We are having here point A with a velocity of 14 meters per second. So it means that at this point, the velocity there is 14 meters per second. Let's call this our initial velocity because it starts from point A. It passes point A with a velocity of 14 meters per second. We shall call it our initial point. And then point B 2.5 seconds later, so meaning that it's going to pass point B, but from point A to point B, the question is telling us that it's going to pass there 2.5 seconds later. 2.5 seconds. So meaning that the time taken to move from A to B is 2.5 seconds later. Assuming uniform retardation, so meaning that they are telling us that with the velocity here, by the time it reached at B, it reduced, meaning that the rate of change of velocity was reducing as the body was moving from A to B. So assuming that the uniform, the retardation was uniform and the distance AB was 30, so meaning that our distance S, denoted by S, is 30 meters from A to B, they're asking us to find Roman 1, the retardation. So we are going to, so we have the distance S, we have the time, we have the initial velocity u. So we, from our equations of constant acceleration, we shall choose an equation that is going to help, uh, that, that satisfies all these to give us our value of a. And since the body is retarding, we definitely expect our value of a to be negative. So we shall pick on the one of, that shows displacement, the displacement equation. S is going to be equal to ut plus a half a t squared. And we know that our value of displacement S is 30 meters, so we have 30 meters is going to be equal to initial velocity, which is 14, times the time it takes 2.5 seconds to move from here to that point B, which is 2.5, plus 
plus a half times the acceleration it is what we are looking for times t squared now uh, the, the the time is definitely times 2.5 squared so when we make any subject of the formula we shall end up with a value of acceleration being negative 1.6 meters per second squared now this negative simply signifies that the body is undergoing a retardation or a deceleration and so it means that our answer we shall conclude by saying that the body retards at a rate of 1.6 meters per second squared so we'll go ahead and do Roman 2 they want us to find the velocity at B so we do not know the velocity at B so we'll go ahead and calculate the velocity at B Still, we're going to use one of our equations of motion to find the velocity at B. The velocity at B in this case will be, we shall use, the velocity at B, VB, V is going to be equal to, we can use V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. This is part B we are answering. So this is going to become, our initial velocity is 14 meters per second, so it's 14 meters per second plus 2 times acceleration. Now, our acceleration here is actually, it has a negative value. Remember, we got our acceleration as negative 1.6. So it means that in our value of A here in our calculation, we have to respect that negative and put it there. It's negative 1.6 because it's actually a retardation. Negative 1.6, 2 times acceleration times S. Our value of S, which is the distance, is 30 meters times 30 meters. So it's 14 squared plus 2 times that times 30 meters so definitely when you get this you end up with a hundred when you find the square root on both sides you end up with your velocity as 10 so our velocity here is 10 meters per second that question is asking us how long after passing it does the stone come to rest so remember this this stone when it started from here it moved on from a at an initial velocity of 14 meters uh, per second as it kept as it kept moving it reached point b and the velocity we got at b was 10 meters per second now for it to come to rest it means that it is supposed to continue until its velocity is zero so it means that when they ask us for how long after passing it does the stone come to rest they are actually asking us to find the time it's going to take for it to move from point a at that velocity up to a certain point when the velocity is zero so it means that we are simply trying to find the value of time when the initial velocity is 14 and the final velocity is zero because it is when the final velocity is zero that the stone eventually comes to rest so in our write-up we shall assume so we are trying to find a certain point let's call it point c and at this point the velocity is supposed to be zero the final velocity so we need to find the value of time how long after passing a does does the stone come to rest so it comes to rest when the final velocity is v so to calculate that also we shall simply come and say v is equal to u plus acceleration times time and so it it means this is part c so meaning to f the final velocity here is zero is going to be equal to the initial velocity our initial velocity in this case is 14 meters per second so it is 14 meters per second plus our acceleration which is still it's still decelerating at a rate of 1.6 times time so we find the value of t so this is going to mean when 14 comes here it becomes negative 14 is going to give us negative 1.6 t so after passing point a the stone is going to travel for 8.75 seconds until it comes to rest and it comes to rest when its final velocity is zero this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe for Kisembo academy this is Arnold Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence